I get it. Okay, it's late at night. It's almost 1.30 here in Cincinnati, Ohio. And um, I don't care. I had to make this video. I had to address this. I had to give my thoughts on this incredible, remarkable, amazing, tremendous. There's so many words that I can describe for this season that Russell Westbrook had. I'm going to tell you guys this just once. So listen up. I'm not going to repeat myself again. Tonight, he made history against the Phoenix Suns, even in the loss. I don't care if he lost tonight. They're going to make the playoffs. Okay? Even in the loss tonight, he made history. Russell Westbrook is the second player ever, ever in NBA history other than Oscar Robinson to average a triple-double for the entire season. The entire season. Now, remember what I told you. I wasn't going to repeat myself. I lied. Second person ever in NBA history, other than Oscar Robinson, to average a triple-double for an entire season. It is incredible what Russell Westbrook has done this year. He got guys like Victor Oladipo on his team, Steven Adams. Um, who else? He got um, Roberson. He has... Um, Shit, uh, what's the other big man name? Uh, fuck. Cantor. In his Cantor. But in his Cantor, he did some stupid shit, what, maybe a month or two ago? And fucking broke his arm or some shit and he missed games. He has talent around him to be able to have a type of season like this. And even with Kevin Durant leaving last summer... Even with Kevin Durant leaving last summer, he was able to pull off a type of season like this. And honestly, in my opinion, I feel like he would have done this with KD even on the team. But for him to do it without KD, it speaks volumes. It shows what kind of player Russell Westbrook really is. He is a tremendous athlete. Some say he's the best point guard in the league. Hey, he sure is tr trying to prove it out there. A triple-double for an entire season? It's, it, it's incredible. It's incredible. And it's not, it's not no measly little triple-double. It's not like he's averaging 10, 10, and 10. This man is averaging over 30 points a game. He's averaging over 30 points a game, or just about 30. Russell Westbrook has been on a rampage ever since KD left. He's had a chip on his shoulder. I I'm not even going to lie. I'm not a Russell Westbrook fan, but I respect him. And I applaud him for what he's done this year without a superstar caliber player like Kevin Durant. For him to do this without KD, like I said, it's remarkable. It's incredible. It's something that hasn't been done for 55 years. Since 1961-1962 season when Oscar Robertson did it, it's been 55 years since somebody has averaged a triple-double for an entire season. It's unheard of. I mean, and the fact that he's played every game this year, I don't think he's missed a game. I don't think he's missed a game this year. Russell Westbrook is your 2016-17 NBA MVP. I don't care what nobody says. James Harden has a good argument. His team has a good record, so that can go along with it. James Harden is having a tremendous season as well. 
with new with new head coach Mike D'Antoni over there doing things for them. But Russell Westbrook, I mean, even with the record that they have, and let me say this too. I believe they won about 45, 46 games so far this season. There's only like two or three games left of the season. That's not bad. Like I said, losing KD in the summer. Like a superstar caliber player like that. That's not bad. You out to win 45 to 46, possibly winning, what, 48 games this year? I'm not sure what their record is, but... I do believe they won about 45 games so far this year. That is incredible. KD is no scrub. KD is one of the best players in this league. Top five. KD is top five in this league. Period. He's top five. And speaking of KD, he does return tomorrow night. But, yeah, man, um... Russell Westbrook, I got to salute you, bro. I got to applaud you. Like I said, I'm not a Westbrook fan. I used to get on Westbrook a lot. But with him having this type of season, my opinion changed on this dude. It's like he, he he's making me become a fan, possibly. I mean, I'm not trying to really jump on that bandwagon, but like I said, man, Russell Westbrook is an, is an outstanding athlete. He's one of the best players in this league, one of the best point guards in this league, if not the best point guard. Some say he's better than Steph. I think it's close, honestly. They both are tremendous players. They both do things very well, and they both have their flaws as well. But, um, man. Like I said, your 2016-17 NBA MVP is Russell Westbrook, hands down. He got this shit in the bag. He got this in the bag, bro. A triple-double for an entire season? Only two players have done it. And he's one of them. Salute to you, Russell Westbrook. And he still can make history before the season ends. Breaking the record for the most triple doubles in a season. I hope you get it, Russell Westbrook. Shout out to you, bro. This is your boy, the Sports Fanatic. Like this video, share it on your Facebook, your Twitter. Also, make, subscribe, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Big ups to him, man. He's doing his thing. He went out there and went hard this season, man, without KD. And he has got the job done. And he leading, he's leading his team into the playoffs. And another thing before I go, the, the Thunder could win the playoff series. With the way he's playing, he can lead them to a playoff series. Win. He, he can lead them to a, to, man, I can't even get the words out of my mouth. It's like, what an incredible season for this dude. Now, if you want to talk going deeper to the playoffs, maybe not. But, yeah, man. They could definitely win the playoff series in the first round, for sure. With the way he's playing, and if others step up and help him, it could definitely happen. See you guys later, man.